The Mountain Valley Retreat Center in Hot Springs Village is trying to figure out who keeps breaking and damaging their storage property. The facility is located on Highway 7 North, and workers there say that they've been hit several times just in the last four weeks. Care Force Rochelle Turner speaking to volunteers to say it's got to stop, Rochelle. Well, Bob and Ashley, good evening to you. Pastor Ronnie Gilmore says he just doesn't understand why people take things that don't belong to them. He's hoping someone knows who keeps committing these senseless crimes and turns them in. Walking past storage units. We're doing all we can. Pastor Ronnie Gilmore just can't understand. Just kind of had their way. He says thieves broke into 16 units in the last four weeks. And they're taking a set of bolt cutters and they're cutting... They're cutting those locks off. They're bold. But that's not all. You can see the tracks. Well, they come right up here. Pastor Gilmore says the thieves got in through a fence on the back side of the property. Not once, not twice, but three different times. They're bringing a four-wheeler in. They're loading it up, and I guess they're taking it to a truck or something. I mean, why would you do that? They, they cut this off. Siphoning gas from vehicles, taking whatever they could get. Night. They're stealing the, uh, generators. Um, pressure washers, anything of any kind of value. They even stole a wood splitter used to provide firewood for people in the community. Hey, it's just, it's senseless. It's really senseless. He says they have security cameras on the property. They already know that they're being watched. But says the people responsible need help. I pray that, you know, God will help us these people. They're not letting this break in stop them from doing business. It makes me really sad because I mean, you know, we're working so hard. Pastor Gilmore says they already have plans to beef up security. They're not the only ones who've been hit just across the street. A truck was stolen from Teen Challenge, but he's grateful the community is already taking action on social media, trying to figure out who's responsible.